Mikudo Weme. That is greetings to all you Africans for the afternoon. Uh, we are host to Agelo Bagan, His Imperial Majesty. Uh, the Kilamo Hosu, the paramount monarch of the Maroon Monarchy of Ganlodo. G A N L O D O Kingdom.com. Our publications are at RestorationHealing.com, and that website name is that uh, website's name is Kilombo Restoration and Healing. This video is entitled "Is It Ifa or Isheshe?" So we're putting the term "practicing Ifa" in context. This is inspired. By a young lady we met yesterday. It's been in the making. We've talked, we've spoken on this before, but we are dedicating this one short video strictly to the concept of practicing the five and what is he share share, right? Uh, the old do five tells us. Well, let's first let's get into the definition of practicing, right? And this is for the new people, people that are trying to find their way. Talking to this young lady. For about an hour, uh, uh, I could we could see her confusion. But she said, even though she's new, she could tell we knew what we were talking about in spirit because she was right, right up on us, right. Uh, and that's a good thing to hear. And so she realized a lot of stuff that was being taught on YouTube and wherever else is is just not correct. Sad part about it. Much of the incorrect stuff that's being taught is by people who've been in this tradition for a while. Uh, years even, you know. So let's, let's begin this. We want to get this on out the way real quick. Um, by the, looking at the definition, a simple definition of practice, right? To practice. And it says right here, the actual application or use, notice the action part of this, of an idea, belief, or method, right? As opposed to theories relating to it. That's about as simple as, simple as you can get and straightforward about the definition of practice. In the Old Fa, coming from the uh, Isheshe perspective, the Yoruba people, uh, we learn the true name of the tradition that people are calling Yoruba, people are calling Orisha, Ifa Orisha, Orisha tradition, um, and Ifa, you know, they're calling it Ifa. They say they're practicing Ifa. We, we, we find that the true name is Isheshe. Isheshe, right? That's I S E S E. Dots under. The E's make them open. Eh versus eh versus eh. Uh, the dot under the S makes it a sh, uh, sh sound, right? E -she -she. And it basically loosely translates as traditional tradition, that which embodies. And it says that uh, one's mother is one's Isheshe, -she. one's father is one's Isheshe. -she. One's genital organs means reproduction, you know, generations. Is he sheshe? One's ori is he sheshe? One's ancestors is he sheshe? In the particular itan, with a particular essay or verse in that odu. So now, what is ifa? Because everybody is saying they practice ifa. Ifa is an oracular system that is part of he sheshe. So, now, let's go back to the definition. You got people saying that they practice Ifa. Let's say they've been, been initiated to Shango, Kawo Kabisio, for 10 years. Been in, been in the game a long time. But they're telling you new people that they're practicing Ifa. Now, these people don't, we're not talking about people that shysters and got, you know, a bad intentions for people. They just These people just don't know better, you know. Obviously, you can't know better if you're calling your tradition something that it's not. So, initiate of Shango, initiate, initiated for 10 years, and you do, you come to the person, and they say, and you say, uh, I, I noticed your bees, I've been studying whatever, Ifa, Yoruba, whatever. 
And then the Shango edition says, yes, I practice Ifa. Based on the definition of the word practice, based on the fact that Ifa is an oracular system, the next question would you, you should ask, are you initiated to Ifa? If he or she tells you no, according to Ifa being an oracular system, and them not being initiated to Ifa, the answer is no. You do not practice Ifa. This is an Opele chain. This one, by the way, this fine thing here was created by our right hand chief of Ganlodo, Chief Jawe Somi. Uh, this is Opele chain. Now, remember the definition it said a method. You, 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 ideas, methods, you know, put into ap actual application. This is thrown a certain way to get the result of an Odu. Then the Babalawo or the Bokono, Bokono in the Vodou tradition, reads the results, what they see. So this is thrown that way for in the uh, Isheshe tradition and back this way, uh, well, out and back this way uh, in the Vodou tradition by the Bokono. That is a method and a practice. That's practice. You are trained to use that. You're trained to learn how to read the Odu Ifa. Right? Ifa is not the name of that tradition. Now, we say that. Uh, we practice Isheshe. We deal with Isheshe. We live Isheshe. Because we don't really like the word practice either. Uh, when it comes to the way of life. So Isheshe is a way of life. Isheshe is contained within Vodou. So... So we should have said that as if we don't uh, live in Shesha. But that's that's it in a nutshell. Uh, now, why are people saying they practice E5? We'll go a little bit further into that. Uh, it's because they still, if you cut them, they're still bleeding Jesus. What we mean by that? E5 is their new Jesus. It's just an African version. They wanted to leave Christianity. Some of them, their ancestors, whatever, said Christianity ain't right, or Islam, or whatever it may be. Buddhism, all the other foreign traditions that they, they've been a part of. And but it's some, what they don't understand is the process of re-Africanization. Re-Africanization causes you to want to and do eventually shake a lot of the residual. You know, people. When you talk about people that used to do drugs, and they and they start, they do a little crazy something every now and then, and somebody say that's that residual drug on them. They'll get over it if they keep trying. That's the reaffirmation process. You have to catch yourself when you're doing stuff that, even though you diss Christianity, you're still doing Christian-like stuff. We even saw a video recently. This guy uh, definitely should know better. Uh, he he compared a room a lot to to the mythological mythological Jesus. You don't have to do that. Explain your culture as your culture. African people are more intelligent intelligent than that, right? You don't have to baby it up for them and say, "Well, Rumila is Jesus." No, a Rumila is a Rumila. A Rumila is the embodiment of Ifa in the Odu Ifa, by the way. Uh. So Ifa is a system that we use that is part of Isheshe. That's like a Christian uh, with, with the misinformation side. The church is an aspect of Christianity. Do they call that tradition the church? No. They call it Christianity. Or, or, or whatever branch it might be. You know. Uh, so, you know, we're, we're surprised at the amount of misinformation out here concerning Isheshe and Vodou. But who's doing it? That's, that's what really has us because we know some of these people. And they've been in this thing long enough. It's time to get grown in this tradition. Because people, people are, the young sister said that uh, uh, a guy walked up to her and asked her, was she e and we've heard people say that they've been asked that, like, huh? Are you Ifa? I mean, huh? 
you know. So I guess that's, you know, are, like, are you Christian? Are you Muslim? You know, Ifa is not the name of this tradition. It's Shesha, traditionalism, culture. Uh, that is the name of the tradition. Period. So we pray that for those that were supposed to receive this message, that you got the message and now you're more equipped. You have to ask these people certain questions. You know, when when uh when you when you when you run into them and they call themselves teaching you and they have these uh temples and all this. When they say they practice E Fa, ask them what do they mean by that? Based on this video, based on the definition of the word practice, based on you knowing that E Fa, now you know that E Fa is an oracle. What let's add on to that. So E Fa is not the oracle that we have. We have Obi. We have Kyrie Shell Divination, that is Owo. Uh, we have, we're well, the four Kyrie Shell. We have Eri Dean Logun Owo, which is 16 Kyrie Shell used by uh, Orisha priests, right? Why this tradition is called Meri Dean Logun Owo? Or Obi Abata? Or Owo Meri? It's because Ifa is the Africanized version deep in their subconscious of Jesus. That's why. The focus is on Ifa. But you use Obi to divine to your ancestors, which are the most important thing in any African tradition. Why it's not called the Obi tradition? Once again, it don't add, it don't, it's not popular enough with the Jesus thinking. Okay? So, so just to let you know, there are other other systems that we have, and Ifa is just one of them. Ifa is powerful; it consults all the deities. Don't get us wrong, but it's not the whole tradition. Ishashe is more than just oracular systems and initiations. It's the foods we eat, the clothes we wear, the meaning that they convey, um, how we relate. To one another as friends, how we relate to one another in intimate relationships. Uh, there is a, a method that that is Ishesha. You know, how we deal with non-Africans. How do we deal with Africans? How do we deal with non-Africans? How do we deal with Africans that are the enemy of Africans? That is Ishesha. That is Ishesha. Our political view is Ishesha. Intergenerational thinking. That's Ishesha. That's Vodun. So, we hope you got something from this. Odiba. Oh, and our uh, email is akabokilombo at gmail.com. Akabo means welcome. And it's spelled E-K-A-A-B-O. Kilombo. K-I-L-O-M-B-O at gmail.com. Odiba.